is a completely different creature. When you look into his eyes, it's not a look of fear, it's a look of pure evil. We're in our second year of a fawn recruitment study that we're doing with Auburn University. And uh, we wanted to take a treatment area and a control area and do some intensive predator removal, mainly coyotes. We're also removing bobcats uh, from that area and then examine the effects of uh, removing those predators. That's been done many times. We kind of know the response that we, we hope to get, but it also allows us to uh, evaluate perhaps the effect of habitat in the non-trapped area. We really believe we've got some good maternal habitat on this area, uh, which I personally believe is a part of the puzzle as much as predator removal. We've been fortunate enough to have a, a student this year, uh, Levi Carlock from the University of Nebraska, who's a very accomplished trapper. All right guys, so what we've got here is the whole Barber County Wildlife Management Area here on this map. Um, it's separated basically into an east side and a west side. Um, Highway 49 splits it up and there's about 15,000 acres on each side roughly. Um, what we've done here is we've taken two 5,000 acre sections on each side and one of them is our control group and one of them is our trapping group. And the trapping group we're setting it heavy trying to take every coyote off this side. And we set out 10 camera sites on this side and coyotes in the summertime they really lock down on an area so we couldn't really do random points in that trapping block because we wouldn't probably get very many pictures of coyotes and we really wanted to see the total number and so we um, scouted out and found the highest density areas or what we thought were the highest density areas and placed cameras out here on 10 different locations and then we ran those cameras for a whole week we pulled those cameras and we stuck them on this area and we ran them for a whole week and from our pictures we went through them and we developed an estimate of how many coyotes were on each side and they were very comparable. One side had anywhere from 9 to 15 coyotes and this side had anywhere from 13 to 20 coyotes. So it's very similar. Just a little South Alabama rain shower. As we started with the trapping program, we were getting sets out and we were checking them. And we didn't get every single set out in the very first night. That's a lot of sets to put in. But we were checking 18 the first night, I think is what we checked, and then uh, like 33 the next day. And then we got all 50 traps out. And we stuck all these traps out within that 5,000 acre piece. And that equates to about 25 sets. Um, a lot of them were double sets, most of them were. Other, every now and then I'd have a single set or a quad in places, but most of the time it was a double set. And we concentrated these traps around the high traffic areas, um, the places probably around the coyote's den site or close to water or its immediate hunting or foraging areas. Over the next few days, we started catching coyotes and quite a few coyotes. Within a mile and a half stretch, we caught eight coyotes in, off of one basic location. This is a perfect example of why this trap is a humane trap. This animal isn't hurt at all. It's just holding kind of like a handcuff with a human. It's got laminated jaws and it really disperses the pressure on his leg. So he's not tearing up his fur, it's not hurting him. It's just holding him there. So we can get here and take care of him dispatching. That's just dirt he's got there. there. Really no abrasions. If we would have let him out of the trap, he'd have ran off like nothing hurt him at all. Oh, the dangers of trapping. <laughs> we could electrocute it. We had a storm blow through. The power line went down across this road. You can see it behind me right here. Blew this tree across the road. So now, pretty neat though, we got a coyote in a trap right next to the down power line. Now we gotta drive around. So we'll see you in a minute.
lot of these studies um, have gained a lot of publicity and I'm not suggesting that coyotes are a problem on every square inch of property in the southeast in Alabama or, or anywhere else in, in the country but they are a significant problem in, in many areas and uh, trapping is one of the most effective and particularly a short run solution uh, if you're dealing with a, a trend of reduced deer sightings um, you're doing some good camera work and you're not seeing seeing fawn recruitment you're not seeing deer and you're seeing dwindling deer numbers and you're seeing an, an increased uh, uh, presence of coyotes through tracks and sign and howling counts that kind of thing uh, trapping is probably the uh, first step in, in slowing down that reduction in recruitment and, and that drop in deer numbers and uh, a lot of folks uh, do that themselves but then a lot of folks hire uh, folks like uh, you Casey and, and bring them down and and uh, have them come in and remedy that problem they don't have the time or the means or the inclination to do it there are other folks out there that can come in and do a good job work fast and efficiently and remove coyote numbers I wouldn't say that's the be all end all and it's kind of like the Lord's work it's never done you're not going to go in for a season or two and trap coyotes and be done you're gonna that's going to be something you have to stay on top of after the conclusion of the tracking program, we ended up taking 15 coyotes off this property. According to our initial counts, that was actually more coyotes than we thought were on this property. So there might have been some bias in our camera surveys, but that, that wasn't the point of it. We just wanted to take as many coyotes as we could off this property, and we took a large part of the population out of here. And this will give deer ample opportunity to get their fawns to an age where they can go on and mature and maybe down the road somebody will harvest this animal. There's a place I go Tuck back in the Sometimes you just gotta get on old Chuck. Let him loosen up a little bit. I am what I am. <laughs> if you sit me down, I'm gonna talk like this. <laughs> Pine plantations, nothing can be better. <laughs> That'd have been good if he hadn't have just bulldozed the camera. <laughs>